Magi 10 represents a number 10. Magi 10 is a magic potion who makes people give funny burps. Friend, Magi 10. Well done. Now you know. Magi 10. What's the story of 10 times 10? When the potion Magi 10 meets another one, it makes her very, very hungry. She dives headfirst into the cauldron and comes out feeling very full. She gives an enormous magic burp and blows a bubble in the shape of a zero. Ten times ten is one hundred. Remember my trick. You only have to memorise the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of nine times ten? When Slimy Nine meets the potion Magi Ten, it makes him very, very hungry. He dives headfirst into the cauldron and comes out feeling very full. He gives an enormous magic burp and blows a bubble in the shape of a zero. Nine times ten is ninety. Remember my trick. You only have to memorise the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of 8 times 10? When Spooky 8 meets the potion Magi 10, it makes him very, very hungry. He dives headfirst into the cauldron and comes out feeling very full. He gives an enormous magic burp and blows a bubble in the shape of a zero. <laughs> Eight times ten is eighty. Remember my trick. You only have to memorise the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of seven times ten? When Ram Seven meets the potion Magi Ten, it makes her very, very hungry. She dives headfirst into the cauldron and comes out feeling very full. She gives an enormous magic burp and blows a bubble in the shape of a zero. Seven times ten is seventy. Remember my trick. You only have to memorise the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of 6 times 10? When Scorpy 6 meets the potion Magi 10, it makes him very, very hungry. He dives headfirst into the cauldron and comes out feeling very full. He gives an enormous magic burp and blows a bubble in the shape of a zero. Six times ten is sixty. Remember my trick. You only have to memorise the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of five times ten? When Flaming Five meets the potion Magi Ten, it makes him very, very hungry. He dives headfirst into the cauldron and comes out feeling very full. He gives an enormous magic burp and blows a bubble in the shape of a zero. Five times ten is fifty. 
Remember my trick. You only have to memorise the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of four times ten? When Vamp Four meets the potion Magi Ten, it makes him very, very hungry. He dives headfirst into the cauldron and comes out feeling very full. He gives an enormous magic burp and blows a bubble in the shape of a zero. Four times ten is forty. Remember my trick. You only have to memorise the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of three times ten? When Freakenstein meets the potion Magi Ten, it makes him very, very hungry. He dives headfirst into the cauldron and comes out feeling very full. He gives an enormous magic burp and blows a bubble in the shape of a zero. Three times ten is thirty. Remember my trick. You only have to memorise the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of two times ten? When two squeaks meets the potion Magi Ten, it makes her very, very hungry. She dives headfirst into the cauldron and comes out feeling very full. She gives an enormous magic burp and blows a bubble in the shape of a zero. Two times ten is twenty. Remember my trick. You only have to memorise the stories that start with the smallest number. What's the story of one times ten? Mrs Wonderwand can't help playing tricks on her friends. <laughs> when she comes across the Magi Ten potion, she casts a spell and changes her into Magi Ten Potion Clown. One times ten is ten. <laughs>